Hi and welcome to this video and in this video we're carrying on with the beginnings of line of sight training. So what I have in front of me here is a little tiny line of sight training map which I'll add as a download in the sim if you go to download tracks go to empty scene day and search on my player name which is up here Ash then you should find an LOS training track and that track is this little track you see here for line of sight training and if we just kind of have a look around there's a start grid here then there's the required two gates that you need which we won't be using for a track but basically you'll get reset to whether you're in line of sight mode or whether you're in FPV mode you'll end up on this start grid with the line of sight training track in front of you there like that so I'm just going to unlock this quad so I can drop down to the ground and get into line of sight mode okay so what is the point of this so this is hover training effectively this is sharpening your skills for hover training so as I said in the previous video the white props are the front of the quad so this is the front of the quad green props at the rear and what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and hover in the blue circle so with this line of sight training the idea is to come out here get the shadow of the quad into the blue circle and then keep it in there so this is just precision hovering keeping the quad as best as you can inside the blue circle and it's actually much harder than you think so that's quite a small circle it's not a very big circle there it's really quite easy to unbalance the quad and the quad is never gonna if it's in rate mode it's never gonna stay still for you it's always gonna be moving so everything you do is gonna move the quad around so this is really good for developing precision hovering so that you can just keep the thing in one place or relatively in one place this will really sharpen up your hovering skills and one of the key things when doing this is to keep the front props away f headed away from you and the green props back towards you and the reason for that if I just bring the quad back a bit closer and just we'll, uh, just lock it in place there so we can just kind of have a little play and show what's going on on the sticks here so while the quad's faced away from me if I rotate right the quad goes right if I rotate left on roll the quad goes left and your your to the right sorry your to the left is your to the left and your to the right is your to the right and pitch forward pitches the quad forward and pitch back pitches it back so you know, this is all what we expect if you turn the quad side onto yourself then you start running into issues because rolling to the right is now kind of tipping away from you and rolling to the left is tipping towards you forward is now left and back is now off to the right your fortunately is still the same if you turn it right round and face you then right is now left left is now right forward is now backwards and backwards is now forwards so the whole thing is completely back to front and actually your now appears to be back to front as well because when you actually your is still is still the same if you're your left you still rotate to the left and you're your right you still rotate to the right so your your isn't changing so it's very key that when you're learning to fly line of sight that you keep the rear props faced towards you because the moment those rear props are not faced towards you anymore you're going to start running into orientation issues with things not quite happening as you expect and then you'll get disorientated and disorientated means you just don't know which way to push the sticks to sort it out because you, you're not really sure which way is the right way to push the sticks anymore uh, and it inevitably ends up in a crash so to begin with we always keep the quad headed away from us okay so that's part one of this series and it's quite literally just hover training take the quad out and see if you can keep it inside of this blue circle here so really gentle movements just try and hover in that blue circle and just do that until you're confident you can keep the quad really nicely with tiny little movements 
seconds it's really quite easy to unbalance the quad but just little tiny movements keeping the quad in the blue circle. Okay, see you on the next video.